Hey, what up guys? It's John from Mongo Fishing. Today's video is unboxings. So I'm prepping for this upcoming weekend's um, BFL tournament. BFLs. So FLW, or Fishing League Worldwide, has multiple levels, right? So they got the big wigs way up on top, uh, the Scott Martins, uh, those type of guys that fish the FLW Tour. Now the one step down is the Costa Series, and the next step down below that is the BFLs, and then you have college, and then you have high school. It's really not the point of this video. The point of this video is unboxings, but it's in preparation for my first BFL event, which is this upcoming Saturday on Lake Washita in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Uh, so let's get to the unboxings. I got a bunch of stuff. There's actually going to be two unboxing videos this week. This one right here, uh, one more unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. What do I have today? I have stuff from Pumpkin Bait Company. I had them make me some some uh, fresh crankbaits. Um, I have some stuff from Wu Tungsten. I have some stuff from Walmart. I have some stuff from Patton's, which is a little local bait company or local uh, tackle shop here in town. Bass Pro, Walmart, um, and then one other place. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. But let's get into it. Um, some of it's cool stuff. Some of it's you know, whatever. Uh, and then I got some new rods also. Um, so picked up this little rod from Bass Pro. It's one of their new Pro Light Elite. Uh, it was brand new. They uh, they just released them. They're on sale. Um, I picked one up. It's a six six medium heavy. Uh, yeah, ten twenty pound. Six point four to one gear ratio. And then I picked up this. I actually won this. This Fuego combo. This Daiwa Fuego combo from Fish and Stuff in Sherwood, Arkansas. They hold uh, monthly raffles or monthly giveaways. And uh, I got this along with an A rig and some uh, of their jig heads. So uh, that's certainly going to help out for this week's tournament in Lake Washita. So, anyway, I guess since I'm on them, let's start with them. So, fishing stuff in Sherwood, Arkansas. Uh, obviously, I won that Fuego. Um, they also gave me a set of their Get Dinette jig heads and an A rig that, there we go, a Flash Mob Jr. Okay, so that's what I won, those three items, which is pretty sweet. Um, what I picked up from them was uh, I picked up some Kitech Fat Swing Impacts. I picked up some three and a half and four inch Kitex, the regular swing impacts, uh, gold flash minnow, black shad, uh, four inch uh, sight flash. So five packs of swim baits, picked up two jigs. Um, one was a Strike King Bitsy Flip and one is a Strike King Bitsy Bug. And then I picked up more jig heads for for throwing the A rig. Um, some uh, some sixteenth ounce three aughts and some eighth ounce three aughts. And then the ones that I won from them were um, eighth ounce five aughts. So that is oh, and then the Bass Mafia coffin, the terminal coffin. I don't know if you guys have seen this thing. It's pretty sweet. I'll probably do a video on it by itself. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but it's basically a, uh, a box for holding your tungsten. It's got boxes for your weights. It's got boxes for your hooks. Keep everything, all your terminal tackle nice and neat and clean and organized. So I picked that up from them also. So that is fishing stuff in Sherwood, Arkansas. 
Let's see, the other local place was a place called Patton's, right? This little tiny place here in town that I only found like a few weeks ago. I didn't even know the place existed. I drive past it every single day, didn't know anything about it. Well, I stopped in there the other day to ask, or to look at Jig Heads to see what they had. And primarily I stopped was to get some screw locks um, because I couldn't find any of the mediums. I could find smalls, but I wanted some mediums. So I went in there to see if they had some screw locks. They didn't, but they had a bunch of Jig Heads and, and, uh, and a bunch of swim bait hooks and so I was sitting there talking to the owner and he said he told me that they pour swim bait hooks for a majority of the big box stores um, the Walmarts the Bass Pros the the academies the, that type of large stores and so um, one of the companies they poured for recently went out of business and so he had a bunch of swim bait hooks that they had already poured these are Gamagatsu hooks uh, already pre-poured with the weights on there and since they had poured and the company is no longer in business they had to get rid of them so five packs of gami hooks uh, with with the lead already you know on right swim bait hooks and they're $1.99 each so there was there was a uh, eighth ounce sixteenth ounce and three sixteenth ounce so I bought up like 15 packs of hooks do I need this many hooks absolutely not but when you've got a dollar ninety nine for gammy you can't even buy gammy hooks for a dollar ninety nine let alone after they've been poured so I picked that up here in town uh, they said they on a on a busy week they do seventy five thousand jig heads a week think about that seventy five thousand I didn't even know this place existed. Apparently the tackle shop is their side hustle. Their main business is making jig heads and swim bait hooks. So that's that. Uh, so patents done and fishing stuff. Um, okay, so these things. Little company that, that, that uh, I was playing around in the old Google machine trying to find one of the hottest jerk baits on the market right now being the Jackal Rerange 110. It is almost impossible to find. Nobody seems to have them. Tackle Warehouse doesn't have them. I think they have the 130s right now, but they're sold out of 110s. And so, tinkering on the old Google machine, and I found them. So, I picked up three Jackal Rerange 110s. Pretty stoked about using those. Uh, that's going to be part of my game plan, maybe, for this Saturday's tournament. So three Jackal 110s. Or sorry, Bass Pro. Obviously the rod and reel. Um, picked up a few rig wraps. Picked up the keepers that I was looking for. Spinnerbait blades. A bump board. I have one on the boat, but I need a smaller one. Um, I'm co-angling this, so everything I have, uh, you know, I'm packing with me. I'm not sure if I'll need it, but I bought one just in case. I'm not going to bring my big one from my boat. Some oval split rings and some flukes. Uh, the white ice fluke junior and the sexy shad original recipe. So that is my Bass Pro goodies. Walmart, not much fishing related, more of, of prep for the tournament. Hand warmers, they're on sale, they're four bucks for a 10 pack. I had to pull the trigger on that. Some rod sleeves, four of those. Some Velcro. Um, tried this, this quarter ounce Booyah. an A-Rig, Booyah A-Rig. I've never seen it before, so I figured I'd pull the trigger on it. It was on sale. So, that little guy. And then there's one more A-Rig that I bought that did not show up. And some sewing needles. Now, you can buy sewing needles, the, the big sewing needles. You can buy them for, um, for making your own line throughs. Uh, and they're, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Or you can go to Walmart and look in the sewing section and get a three pack for I think a dollar fifty, two bucks, something like that. It wasn't very expensive. And then 
my own coal beam. So Bass Pro had these coal beams. They're like 10 bucks. Walmart has them for five and change. So it's the same thing as the Bass Pro coal beam, just for $5 instead of $10. So I picked that up. So that was my Wally World purchase. Again, nothing special, a little bit of fishing stuff, but most of it was other stuff. Last things to go, uh, Wu Tungsten and Pumpkin Bait Company. So from Wu, I bought a bunch of weights. And it's a weight company, right? So I picked up some drop shot weights. I picked up some flipping weights. Uh, I don't even remember what sizes I bought. But I got, oh yeah, I remember now. So I picked up some of their their normal, um, like for example, let me find the two of the same. So three eighths ounce, like three eighths ounce black weights, which I already have. And then some of the three eighths ounce in OD green. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Those blend in a little easier. So some green weights to go with my black weights, uh, some drop shots, some more of the three eighths ounce green weights, some quarter ounce the green weights, quarter ounce black weights, quarter ounce green weights, and then half ounce green, and then like I said, the drop shots, um, quarter ounce, half ounce, and three eighths ounce, all in the green stick style drop shots. I prefer to throw those over the other style. And then last thing, Pumpkin Bait Company, Jenny at Pumpkin Bait Company hooked me up with some customs that I asked for. If I can cut this. As always, Jenny does awesome work. So I didn't bother looking to see what I got. I know what she makes is awesome. So uh, I'll tell you, I ordered my my color, the Mongoose Green Sunfish. I ordered that. I ordered some baby crappies. Check that little guy out. Can you see that? Might have to take a picture of it. I can't tell with the lighting if you can see that or not. Baby crappie. Um, I ordered... I think this is going to be one of my... Oh, yeah. My... Um, Pumpkin seed on a DT6. Mongo's green sunfish on a DT6. Thing is gorgeous. I think I got another Mongo's green sunfish, or maybe it was another crappie. I think I got another crappie, um, maybe silent, because I have a Mongo's green silent. So I think I might have got a silent crappie. Yeah. And then the last thing is a jerk bait that I got from her. I love throwing jerk baits this time of year. I love throwing jerk baits pretty much any time of year, but. forgot what she called this illusion or something I don't remember I'll put it in the I'll put the description or I'll put the name in the description so this one's kind of a I don't know it's like a bluish has some uh, some blue flake some little purple flake and sparkles it's about a I'm not sure on size maybe a 110 115 oh you know what let's go into three ranges out compare it size wise So rearrange hers, yeah, it's, it's the same size, about a 110. Ah, it's got sticky because I'm stuck. Yeah, they're the same size. So, 
Anyway, that's Jenny from Pumpkin Bake Company. Thank you very much, Jenny. Obviously, I'm not going to cover my, my uh, game plan for this weekend's tournament, but uh, it's going to involve jerk baits, hopefully. I mean, it's going to be part of it's going to be depending on my my pro, right? My boater. I'm going as the co angler, so I'm the back seater. He's the one that controls where we go. Um, I'm just there for, along for the ride. So, uh, rookie year, first tournament. Looking pretty excited for it. The forecast as of right now says hot springs, 10 day forecast. Saturday says mostly cloudy, cooler, chance of rain, highs in the mid 40s, chance of precipitation 50%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, slight chance of showers, lows in the upper 30s, chance of precipitation 20%. So Friday, is highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s, and raining. Saturday, mostly cloudy, cooler, and a chance of rain. Uh, it's been fished the past few weekends with tournaments. Last weekend, I guess the winning tournament, it was a team tournament. Uh, the winning bag was 25 pounds, or 20, 24 and change, something like that. Um, There's a few boats that had that, but the majority of the boats brought in like 8 and 12 pound bags. Um, the week prior, I think there was a couple 20 pound bags also, but the majority of bags brought in were eight and 12 pound bags. So who knows what this is gonna be like. Uh, this will be the third weekend in a row that's being hit tournament wise. So, uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking to just catch a fish, right? I'm obviously not going out there to lose. I wanna go out there and win. Um, otherwise I'm not participating, but step one is sticking some lips uh, that are keeper size. And then from there, we just make the bags bigger and better. So comment below what your game plan would be fishing a tournament like that. It's, it's a big lake. It's a deep lake, 100 foot plus. Uh, but apparently, it's a few feet shallow right now. I guess like six feet down or four feet down right now. But um, lots of pressure lately. So comment below what your... Uh, what your strategy would be if you're the voter. What would your strategy be if you are the co-angler also? All right, guys. So again, thank you very much for watching. This is your first time watching my channel. Please hit that subscribe button right down there. It looks like me holding a fish. Could be right down there. It looks like me holding a fish. Um, hit that like button and uh, drop a comment below, guys. Again, thank you very much for watching. Get on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips. Thank <laughs> you.